Hello and welcome. This is Christina from EmpoweredCreator.com. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here, I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything. So if that sounds good to you guys, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. With all that being said, let's get into today's video. Today, we're going to talk about a question that pops up in everyone's head pretty much from time to time when we're consciously manifesting anything, um, especially if it's something that's important to us or we feel that we need to have it kind of urgently. Um, it's the question of time, the question of how long, how long is it going to take for my manifestation to appear? How long is it going to take until I see it and experience it in the 3D world? So I'm going to attempt to answer that and simplify that for you guys today. Um, I'm going to say that from my experience and also from all the studying I've done, it depends on two factors, primarily. There's just two factors that impact how long it's going to take for your manifestation to appear in the 3D world. So the first factor, which in my opinion and in my experience, and Neville also confirms that and also talks about that, uh, is the most important thing, the most important factor that determines how fast something can come into your reality, is what Neville calls the feeling of naturalness. Now let's explain that for a second. What is the feeling of naturalness that he's talking about? That is simply the feeling of inner knowing and inner confidence that your manifestation is already yours. It's going to happen. It's coming to you. It's coming into your world and into your experience. And also a feeling of, I would describe it as knowing it as a fact, knowing it as it is so. When you think about it, you know that yes, it is so. And it's not necessarily an emotional feeling. You're not feeling any emotions with it. It's more like, a, a, I would say, just a matter of fact, like kind of passionless feeling. The same way you know your name, the same way you know your address, the same way you know what car you're driving, um, the same way that you know, oh yeah, my mom loves me, or oh yeah, my best friend and I get along so well. You know, I'm talking about this kind of matter of factly feeling and knowing. That is the feeling of naturalness that Neville is talking about. That's what he means when he says you have to feel it natural. Now, let me pause here for a second and just say, you don't necessarily have to feel it 100% natural for it to manifest. You don't, in my experience, you don't have to have 100% belief. And in a lot of cases, you're not going to have 100% belief, especially if you have some resistance, if there's a lot of backstory to what you're trying to manifest, that's okay. It doesn't mean it won't manifest if you don't feel it 100% natural. I'm not saying that. Um, but what I'm saying is, if you get to a point where you feel it very, very, very natural, if you get to a point where it feels like a fact in your head, then gosh, you know, you can know with confidence that your manifestation is near. Now, how near and what does near mean? That's going to vary from person to person and manifestation to manifestation. So I can't give you an exact timeline, but I can tell you that if you consistently and dominantly have this feeling about whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's, it's not going to be long. It's close. It could be days. It could be weeks. It could be, I don't know, a couple months, but it's not going to be very long. Uh, because when the, the, the magical, let's say, thing that happens when you 
get that feeling, when you start feeling it as being a fact, is that you might prompt some crazy bridges to form very fast. And then all of a sudden your manifestation lands in your lap. Things start shifting very fast. Things start changing. Things start like things start happening. People start being moved to, to do things or say things or, or just, just help your manifestation to, to come alive into the 3D world. Um, so definitely one big factor is the feeling of feeling it natural, the feeling of knowing it, the feeling of having that inner confidence, the feeling of knowing it as a fact is the most important factor in accelerating a manifestation into coming uh, into the 3D. Um, now again, I'm going to say something before I go to the second point. If you're not feeling it natural, yet, yet, don't despair. Just keep practicing, getting into the state, feeling like the person who has it, feeling like the person who is already who you want to be, who you're manifesting yourself to be. And just keep coming to that. Keep, come, keep, keep revisiting that feeling and that state. Just keep coming to it. It, it will feel more and more natural um, as you go along. It will feel much more natural. So just, just persist. Just keep going back to your state, to your desired state. And yeah, that's, that's all you have to do. And now to the second point. Um, like I said, the first point I just covered is by far the most important factor in how fast a manifestation comes into your 3D. There is a second factor that isn't always a factor. It depends on the manifestation. Sometimes it can be a factor. Sometimes it's not. But what happens with some manifestations, not all of them, but with some, there are bridges that need to be formed and things that need to shift before things can happen and come into your 3D world so that you get your desired outcome. Okay? So, again, this doesn't have to be a factor. It isn't always a factor. A lot of the times, just the feeling of naturalness about what you're manifesting is more than enough and you get it very fast and it's that. But in some other cases, depending on what, on what you're manifesting, it could be that some time is required for some things to shift, some people to be moved, some bridge to be formed. So you might have to wait a little longer. And I'm going to give a little example here just so that uh, I can illustrate this point. Those of you who read Neville Goddard will be familiar with the story of his brother who was visualizing and imagining that very hotshot building in downtown or wherever that was in their town that was very, very much coveted by pretty much every investor in town. And Neville's brother kept imagining out of nowhere because they were a poor family at the time and they were kind of struggling financially. But he kept imagining out of nowhere that his family actually owns that building. And he kept imagining that day after day, day in and day out for about two years. I'm not saying your manifestation is going to take two years. Okay. Chances are it's, it's going to be much faster if you consistently and dominantly focus on your desired state. Okay. But I'm trying to illustrate a point where Sometimes certain time has to pass for certain things to happen. And what happened in, in the case of that story is the guy kept imagining that his family had acquired the building and that they owned it, but there were no ways, no obvious ways in the 3D world through which they could actually acquire it because they were, they were not investors. They didn't have much money. Um, th 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 there was no way the building wasn't even up for sale. So he kept imagining and through his imagination over time, um, he prompted certain events to happen 
First of all, he prompted the building to go up on the market for sale, which is kind of an important factor. It wasn't, for, it, wasn't, it wasn't on the market for sale when he first started imagining. It only went on the market for sale uh, pretty much just days or weeks before he, he got his manifestation. And then the second thing that had to happen, which is actually, I think, very important um, as a point, is that the guy and his dad were running a shop and they were providing exceptional service to the community. And what happened was that a rich investor just noticed them and they noticed how customer friendly they were and how much integrity they had and how well they were running their business. And he decided to actually give them the money and bid on that building on their behalf when it went on the market for sale and he got them the building. And that's how um, the family got to acquire the building. So the building needed to go up for sale first and foremost, and also some time had to pass for him and the dad to keep running the shop and for the investor to notice them and for the investor to probably watch them from afar and watch how they were running their business and assess and, and get the idea into his head that, oh yeah, these, these guys, they're good. They, they are so much worth it. I am going to invest in them. Sometimes had to pass for that. I mean, whether we like it or not, sometimes had to had to elapse for that to happen. So, in this story, that's why it took two years, because that's how long it took for the bridges to form and bring him what he wanted. And of course, that was a very lofty ambition for him at that time. So there's also that. I'm not. I'm not saying not have lofty ambitions, the opposite. But what I'm trying to say is um, he, he was going from nowhere to like top of the world in their little town, essentially. So that took some time. That had to take some time. You know, it, it wasn't going to happen overnight. So that is the second factor. I'm going to repeat it again. It doesn't have to be a factor and it's not always a factor. And as a matter of fact, the feeling of naturalness and the, the, the feeling of inner knowing and the feeling of knowing your desire is already a fact, your manifestation is already a fact, that in itself might actually greatly accelerate the bridges that have to be built and have to be formed for it to happen. But sometimes certain things in the 3D world also have to shift, so it could be a little longer. Now, what you can do, I think the best thing you can do and the best thing all of us can do when we're manifesting is to keep focusing on our desired state again and again and again and again, over and over, make it dominant in our consciousness, strive to get into that feeling of naturalness, that feeling of knowing, that feeling of, of knowing our desires already a fact, it's already done, have that inner confidence, have that inner calmness, and just positively expect it to show up one day. I think that's it. Simple as that. So with all that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I intend this has helped you. Thank you for watching this channel and my content. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Until then, bye-bye.